Welcome to the Spiritual Hour with Mad Mix, June 14th, National Bourbon Day. So here we go, something to do with bourbon. Uh, bourbon original, well obviously bourbon is a county in uh, Kentucky, everybody knows that. Uh, but the original House of Bourbon, which is French, is where that county's name came from. And the whiskey that was made there, I don't know, 200 years ago, started being called bourbon. And today, it's like a Native American spirit is what it's called now, I think, for the last number of years. Um, and today, June 14th, uh, no matter what year it is, is the celebration day to celebrate bourbon. So instead of doing our standard old fashions or Manhattans, I picked a recipe. Uh, I picked a cocktail recipe, which I've never made before. It's called Man of War. Some of you who might be into horse racing uh, probably know that this was a thoroughbred from uh, 1920. Uh, between 1920 and 21, I believe this horse uh, won 20 out of 21 races that he was entered in. Um, he was not entered in the Kentucky Derby, uh, so he missed that one, although he won the Belmont Stakes. This year's Belmont Stakes happened last weekend, and he also won the Preakness Stakes, which happened this year, what, a month ago or something. So it's kind of Bourbon Day mixed with uh, horse racing that just happened in the last few weeks here. Uh, so Man of War. Uh, and another tidbit, a man of war uh, sired a war admiral, who was a famous thoroughbred, who sired Seabiscuit, on whom there is tons of movies and books and stuff like that. So just, uh, I'm not into horse racing, but this is what I found out. So let's make the cocktail. Um, this calls for two ounces of a, uh, a bourbon. I'm picking uh, Knob Creek uh, from uh, Kentucky. And I'm picking a uh, 100 proof, right? Yeah, 100 proof. So it's gonna be a bit uh, full, uh, rounded flavor. Um, I believe they use almost 75% uh, uh, corn in their mash bill. Uh, rest of it is split between uh, rye and barley, I think. Um, then we put an ounce, so this was two ounces of bourbon, one ounce of uh, dry Curacao. So Curacao is uh, an island in the, uh, the West Indies, the Caribbean, uh, which was colonized by the Dutch a long time ago. And they found this bitter orange, Laraha, I think is how you pronounce the orange, grows only on that island, a bitter as heck peel, but it has great aroma and it's much drier than like a Cointreau. So this is a French product uh, called from uh, Pierre Ferrand. Uh, so I'm using the dry Curacao, but you can substitute with uh, Cointreau if you want. Uh, what am I doing here? One ounce of this. So here's your one ounce. Mmm, that smells so good. Very refreshing. Orangey. Let me put these back here. Uh, what else goes in here? Uh, sweet vermouth. So I'm using a classic uh, Carpona Antica. Woo. Uh, this one would be half ounce. To add a bit of sweetness and some uh, nice rounding of the cocktail. And I'm going to use uh, same half ounce of uh, freshly squeezed uh, lemon juice. So this would actually be nice in the summer. It is supposed to be summer in Seattle, but it's kind of cloudy outside. So now um, I got already a bunch of ice in there uh, and I'm gonna just shake it and I put the wrong one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer. Just had ice. This is the one I'm gonna shake it in. That should chill it. Now let's get a chill cocktail coop. Here is the cocktail coop. Let's put this away. And I'm gonna double strain it into this coop because there is lemon juice involved. So let's do that. It's got a funky color. 
I don't know, is it muddy looking or? It's the first time I'm making it, so it's all new. There you go. So that's the uh, Man of War. And as a garnish, you could uh, use a lemon peel. I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna use a nice uh, cherry, mar maraschino cherry and dunk it in there. There we go. Let's do a taste. Man of War. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Wow. <clears throat> I definitely taste the bourbon because there's two ounces of it in there. Um, the orange curacao kind of adds the dryness. Uh, definitely get the orange flavor. But it's rounding off as you... Let me try one more. I think this sweet vermouth is kind of lost a little bit. I don't know, maybe you can up it from half an ounce to a little bit more. Uh, nice lemon juice uh, finish, but it's it's a good, good cocktail. This would be nice uh, sitting out on the deck uh, while the sun is out. Cheers. Cheers again.